Well, you got your socks and sometimes your tie, but definitely your socks. <laughs> All right, well, first question is the easiest one to start you off. What's your name? Keon and I J. Can you spell that? Everyone call me K I J U A N A. And your last name? Sharad, but everyone calls me Nij. Is that what you want to go by? Yeah, Keon and I J. Okay, cool. Um, and that's N I G. N I G apostrophe E. Okay. Yeah. Um, all right. So, I guess I'm here because you put out this video of mm -hmm. uh, Chris. Is it Forster? Foster? Forster. Forster. Um, We've all seen the video at this point. Right. What <clears throat> What made you put that out there to the world? Um, with everything that's going on in our like society at this point in time, as far as, you know, things with Kaepernick, you know, issues as far as Mike Vick and dogs, issues as far as athletes getting in trouble over things such as marijuana. You know, I just want to shine a little bit of light onto like bigger situations. Basically. That's How does um, seeing a Miami <clears throat> Dolphins assistant coach do below help kind of shine a light on that? Well, look at how they dealt with the situation. Did they fire him? No. no. Right, they didn't fire him. He resigned, right? So if he was a black coach, do you think he would have been fired or would he been given the option to resign? Honestly, your opinion. Do you think they would have fired him or well, you didn't give the option honestly, to resign. Don't know. I don't say <laughs> so you were right about to say you don't you I don't, don't want no parts. I want to hear. But what just you think. just being honest, uh, <clears throat> that would be the reason behind why I chose to do what I wanted to do. So it was kind of about showing hypocrisy, basically, yeah, like inequalities in the system that we live in. Yeah, for so, sure. So basically, like the statement that you were making was. You got this guy Kaepernick. All he's doing is kneeling. He's getting just destroyed for it. Right. Meanwhile, you have coaches doing blow in the facility. Right. And, and then going to happened. practice. And nothing's happening. Right. And they don't care. At the end of the day, they even showed you once again that they still don't care. So at the end of the day, it's like it's kind of like a white privilege, if you want to be honest about it. It's a white privilege. Um, when you compare the two, you get one person get in trouble over an anthem. When you have a coach, you probably can't even sing alone. Cause he's so high, you know. Let's just be honest. So, uh, okay. So, what was your, <laughs> what's your relationship with him? How did you get this video? I was dating him. Like that's someone that I had a relationship with. Mm -hmm. And would you do? It is cocaine in the video. Is that? I would prefer to not say it's cocaine. My attorney told me to avoid saying such language. But what else do you do with a twenty, a dollar bill, a five, a hundred dollar bill, fifty dollar bills? Like, that's why I take it as. Have I seen him do cocaine myself? I have. Okay. Yeah, that's what I was. There we go. That I can't answer a question like that. I've seen it myself. Yeah. Yes. So you had a relationship with him, and at least on his part, cocaine was involved. Right. In the relationship. For sure. Okay, and I think he says like this is he's thinking of you. I mean, when he sent, when did he send you the video? Oh, I would have to look at my phone for the exact date. You want to look at that, babe? It is, the exact okay, date is fine. Okay, so it's, it's about a week ago. A week. It's recent. People are wondering, like, if it's a video from a year ago. No, it's actually a, vid a video from, like, about a week ago. Okay. And the relationship had ended. Mm hmm How long ago did it end? A week ago. Oh, so this was like, you, you broke up, and then... He sent yeah. you this video, like... No, time. he sent me the video, actually, like, two days before we broke up. Okay. All right. Um, did and other him? videos also. From him? Yeah, there's other videos. There's other pictures, there's other videos. What kind of pictures and videos? Oh, oh, we gonna leave that for Dr. Phil. <laughs> we got pictures and we got videos, so. Like, naked pictures? Uh, like, parting pictures. Okay. With other women, other drugs, hmm. pictures. When he sent you the video, how what was your reaction how did you feel about it um that's him like that's how he is he dreams about my pussy like he this isn't something that just happened out of nowhere he sends me videos on a regular basis so this isn't like oh just one day i decided to get high and i'm gonna send her a video he did that on a regular basis like instead of sending a text message he'll send a video and what has i mean the response 
been like since you released the video what's your life been like oh my god i've had good support and then i've had bad support i've had people call me on my name call me niggers whores you know you know how it goes you know i've had a lot of backlash but at the same time i've had a lot of support too i have a good support system and people understand why i did what i did do you feel like that the message though that you're trying to send by releasing the video has that kind of gotten lost a little for sure obviously my point was made actually a little bit more because like i said <clears throat> instead of him getting fired because in a regular situation he would have got fired let's be honest if he was a black coach he would have been fired. He would probably been drugged through mud and kicked out of the stadium. That's what would happen if it was an African-American coach. But since he was a white coach, they allowed him to resign, which I've never heard of anybody being able to resign when they're a coach head. I've never heard of that. But yeah, so the point of the whole releasing was actually they just made it, my point, even more valid. Like they just shined an even bigger light you have Kaepernick who's in trouble for kneeling. Then you have a man who they are basically holding his hand through this whole process. Like, oh, it's okay, buddy. It's not your fault that she wanted to do some blow off her pussy, you know? So they're holding his hand in this situation. While at the same time, they're treating another professional player completely different over an anthem. So tell me how should I feel? The, the Kaepernick thing and the <clears throat> anthem stuff, that's been going on for a few weeks. Mm -hmm. um, I'm trying to just, I'm just curious, like, what was the change in your mind when, if he's sending you videos like this all the time, mm -hmm. why was this video, what was the breaking point for you that made you say, I got to release this? I just had a point where I said, fuck it. Honestly, he had sent me a message, um, basically saying if I didn't delete his photos, if I didn't delete the videos, or whatever, that they have an NFL cleanup squad that would deal with the situation. So me personally, maybe I've watched too many videos of scandal, maybe one too many seasons, but that kind of made me fear for my life, to be honest. So I figure, you know, if I'm gonna die, let me get this message out first before it looked like I walked myself into a freezer, before you find me in a jail cell and somehow I hung myself or anything weird, you know? I'm just saying, I'm just saying, that's what they do to my people. Right. Yeah. I'm just being honest. Like yeah, some no. bullshit be popping off, and before they like get me and make it look like I overdosed or some weird shit, I'ma let you know what really happened. So it is what it is. Did you break up with him? Mm. Turns out we were never together. He has a wife. Have you found out? That's what he told me. Is that that's how the breaking point came. Um, previously, he was trying to convince me to move to Miami or whatever. Me and my best friend, actually. It wasn't just me. He wanted me and my best friend to move to Miami. And then I ended up getting a message from him basically saying that his wife had found out about me and found out about our relationship or whatever, and that he basically was going to have to end it. So this was a long distance thing? Um, yeah, I see, you know, like if he's around, then I'll see him. Or if I want to fly somewhere and meet him, he'll fly me out. Okay. Um, how long had it been going on? Um, that's something else that Dr. Phil asked me to keep private because they have somewhat of like an exclusive thing for me. But it's been going on for a little bit. Okay. For a good amount of time. Yeah. Um, and oh, I, keep, I just forgot what I was going to say. <laughs> You didn't know that he had a wife? No, he told me his divorce. Our initial, like when I initially met him, the first thing he told me was like, yeah, I was married for X amount of years, but we're divorced. She has her place, I have my place, I have three kids. Like he told me the whole breakdown. And with him being as honest about the situation, I felt like he was telling the truth, to be honest, but obviously he wasn't. How did you guys meet? You said what? How did you guys meet? Oh, we met in L.A. They were out there um, at Oxnard. Do you know where Oxnard, California is? I've heard of it. Okay, so yeah, basically that's where the NFL goes to have practices or whatever. So due to hurricanes and all that, they were out there practicing, and that's how me and him met. Okay. Are there any like specific incidents that jumped to mind for you when you know he was, you were together and there were drugs around? He liked to party. He's a partier. That's what he enjoys to do. 
and I'm really not a judgmental person. Like typically, I keep everyone's secrets or whatever. I know a lot of people, I keep a lot of secrets. But just with everything that's going on in the news, all the inequalities that's going on in the NFL itself, it was time. It's time for a little bit of light to be shone upon that situation. Even though it's more light, it's way more light that can shine on that. That was just like a little drizzle, yeah. just a little bit. Yeah, I feel that was going to be my next question. Do you, feel <laughs> like this, do you feel like this has been a success for doing for the purpose <clears throat> that you thought it would have? No, like I said, look at how they treated him. Like it just, if anything, kind of proved my point a little bit more. So it's a success in just shining the light on inequalities due to the situation. <clears throat> But it's not a success in changing it, if that makes sense. So yeah, like it's more blatant, it's more out there to see. Yes, you know, the NFL is fucked up, but it's not just the NFL, it's really all the sports. Like there's inequalities across the line. So you're saying like, if this had happened, if this video had come out and he was black, then he would have been just fired immediately. Hello? Christopher, yes, you're fired. Yes, that's simple. And yes. did, did he do this? I mean, do you know for a fact that he would, like, go to practice or games high? Yes. Everyone. <laughs> Every single one. Yes, that's his habit. If you ask his coaches, the other, like, his coworkers, they will even agree that he'll stay in the office till 4 in the morning. Why do you think he's in the office until 4 in the morning when he has to be back there by 6 or 7? the reason for that because he was getting high at work hmm. wow. well i'm trying to think is there <laughs> anything else that uh I, that you want to say or am i forgetting to ask you um is there anything else you want to know i'm sorry my voice is a little bit strange okay. a lot of people have been calling i've That's been fine. dealing with a lot of shit no um anything else i want to say i mean if you want to we can clarify some things like people swear that i'm a stripper they swear this is this trying to figure out my background are you a stripper <clears throat> have i ever danced that's a better question have i ever danced yes but i'm an entertainer so when i say entertainer that means that i've been in very many different faucets so you can't just sit here and call me a stripper because once upon a time i stripped because if that's what you're going to do, you also got to call me an actress. Because once upon a time, I've been in movies such as Las Vegas. I've been on episodes and, um, help me, help me, Jigglos. Yeah, Showtime, Jigglos. I start on that. Like, so therefore you have to call me an actress. So you're not currently stripping? No. What do you do Hell now? Hell no. Now I'm just an entertainer. I'm pregnant, so I'm on leave. I'm just chilling right now. I'm an entertainer. Um... And I work with other people in the music industry, so I have people that I manage right now. But as far as physical, like moving around, I'm not doing nothing. I'm sick. I'm pregnant. Is Chris the father? <clears throat> We're leaving that for Dr. <laughs> I think it's going to try. Um, we'll make a beautiful baby, wouldn't we? Yes. <sighs> Anywho. So he's not. Oh, um, no. So in other words, that's something else that's exclusive for Dr. Phil. You can watch that segment and that's when you'll find out if Chris is the father. Okay. Um, <laughs> yeah, I guess. We'll make a beautiful baby. Were you, uh, were you okay with his, you know, you, I know you wanted him to get fired immediately, but no. is it Oh, important no. to you that okay. he's not employed by the team anymore? No, 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 no. Okay, this is where I think the confusion is coming from. It's not exactly that I wanted him to get fired. It's not that I wanted him to resign. Unfortunately, that's the reaction that comes from his actions, though. So it's not that I wanted that for him at all. I want him to get help. I want him to go rehab. I want him to get back to who he's supposed to be. It's not about him getting fired or anything like that. But due to the actions that they took in the NFL with allowing him to resign, instead of firing him, like I said, it just shined a bigger light on the issues. That's obvious. Right, which is the inequalities. Because like I said, if he was a black coach, he would have got fired. It had been no resigning. And that's something that me and everyone else know. So, I mean, they just make themselves look worse and worse every day.
Have you have you been in contact with him at all since this happened? Oh no. The last contact I got was when he was talking about a cleanup crew. So, you know, once you get to that point, you kind of stop talking to people because you can't like um, incriminate yourself. You so know? before you released the video was before. the last contact you had. Yes. Since you released, you have not had any. No, contact the last contact I had was about the cleanup crew. Yeah. I'm so, just trying to clarify when that was. No, yeah. So, in other words, I haven't had any contact since he told me that they would send a cleanup crew for me. Okay. I haven't had contact with him since before I released the video. Got it. Because whenever you're planning on doing something to somebody, you don't be in contact with them anymore. I know how this goes. Has he tried to contact you since? He's not going to try to. It's incriminating. So, why would you contact someone and then do something to somebody? You got to think of your head. You got to say two steps ahead. So I know how this goes. He's not going to contact me. He's not. What's going to happen is if he really tries to send a cleanup crew, they will be in contact with me, probably, you know, through physical manners or whatever. He's not going to be in contact with me anymore. That so he I did threaten you? Mm-hmm. And that was before you released the video? Mm-hmm. Doesn't make a lot of sense, does it, that he would send you the video and then immediately threaten you to delete it? Maybe he came down off his high and realized he fucked up. That might be it. Like, God damn, I really just sent them videos of me doing all that blow. Yeah, I might change my mind too. Yeah. <laughs> I might get sober a few hours later, like, fuck. <laughs> All right, cool. Well, uh, I think we've covered everything, unless yeah. there is something else you want to add. I or mean, is that, I was about to say, is that all you want to ask? When did we meet? We met in California. The relationship. When was A couple that? Of months. You, it was a few months ago? It was like a couple months. Like two, yeah, two months or so ago. Okay. We've been so we're pretty short. Yeah, yeah. it's pretty short. Type of relationship. Your wife, if he really has a wife, if she's smart at all, she's going to go through your phone. Because I would. Just being honest. So, of course, yeah, that's not going to last very long if you have a whole life. She's going to find out. And she found out if that's true mm -hmm. and that, you know, it just caused an issue. And that's what it is. But at the same time, like say he lied to me. He told me he was divorced. So if he had told me the truth from the very beginning, we wouldn't be in this situation. None of us. We wouldn't be in this situation. Because you wouldn't have gotten involved in it. No, and now I'm two months pregnant, so this just isn't positive. <clears throat> so he probably is the father. I know you can't say, but it sounds it was like nice to meet you. Sounds like he's. <laughs> uh, I'm just gonna do one thing. Do do do. Move the cameras to get both of us in there, uh, just to get that. How do the raspiness come off my voice? all of that just so sick i'm so sad Have what time is it to any other uh can we redo stations? this no because i'm i hate the raspiness of my voice it's not going away i've been throwing up okay. this shit i'm so sad <laughs> i don't i can't hear the difference yeah, yeah i so. can i know the difference um, have you talked to any other local stations um i've declined everyone else including you obviously originally and then I just said, you know what? And I kind of did my finger like this and went like that. And you're the lucky guy. Well, thank you so much. <laughs> I appreciate it. Just going through the emails. And, well, yeah. You know, so well, and you seem really cool. So. Well, thanks. Yeah, you no, deserve the break, it. the yeah. news break. I well, give it to uh, you. Well, we can't say exclusive, I don't think, because you're going on all the other stuff. But exclusive for local TV. Right. So you'll be the only the one. The only local station. You will be the only one in Las Vegas. Appreciate it. That has the story. And I guarantee that. Thank you so much. You're welcome. All right. Well, then I will get the hell out of here. <laughs> it was nice meeting you, dear. You too.